has 16 propellers. You can only imagine how much technology this little drone is actually made up of. Hey guys, B Snappy here. I'm here with Jess from Wing, a drone delivery company. And Jess is gonna to talk to us a bit about what they do here at Wing. So Wing is a drone delivery company. Yep. We operate in the US and Australia. Yep. And we are bringing home essentials, meals to the doorsteps of people every single day. Yeah, I've been hearing about these drones. So how does it actually work? Where's the drone stored? Like, does, do you guys have your own depot where they take off, go to Walmart and get in the package and take it to the delivery? So in a nest, we have about 18 aircraft that are charging on pads throughout the day. Uh, they're often set up outside of a Walmart or in a mall for DoorDash. Yeah. And so as the orders come in through the Walmart app or the Wing app or the DoorDash app, those drones are waiting, charged, ready to go for the mission at hand. Yeah. And so our loaders can be there ready to load the drone and it'll take off and go to the home and have a successful delivery. So how does this actually work? Do you have someone there controlling in the nest where it goes? Or? Great question. No, so no joysticks. It's oh. not one to one. Yeah. So um, these are highly automated drones. And yep. so what that means is we can have um, what we call pilots in command. Yep. And so these pilot in commands are, they're overseeing a geographic area. So they have, uh, they're, over, they're responsible for many aircraft. The aircraft can plan their missions and wow. you know, successfully complete the delivery. Yeah. But our pilots are absolutely critical to safety and making sure, you know, weather looks good. There's no helicopters flying through the airspace. So they're a critical part of the overall operation. From the Walmart, how far can you guys go? Like, how many minutes can you fly for? How yeah. fast does it go? We can fly up to six miles one way and yep. then back, so 12 total. We typically service an area of about a four mile radius because, yep. you know, no flight is straight. Yeah. And yeah. you want to have a little bit of cushion. So, about a four mile radius. That means we're reaching thousands of homes with yeah. just one nest. How fast can these drones go? Like, how fast can it get from Walmart to the delivery spot? Yeah, they have a little bit of get up and go. You yeah. Know, they're smaller aircraft, but they can fly up to 65 miles per hour. Wow, that's really fast. How does the drone? avoid other planes, does it communicate with air traffic control? We have a system that is built around ADS-P. Yep. And so for aircraft that you know we're sharing the airspace with, it's important to know that we are flying under that 400 feet. Typically yep. we're at about 150 to 200 feet in over densely populated urban areas. And yeah. so ADS-P is a big part, important part of our system to avoid other traditional aircraft. Yep. And then for drones that are flying in the airspace, we actually have systems called UTM to help other operators avoid each other and plan accordingly so that we can all share the airspace. So you're delivering to a house and it has trees, power lines, it's all overgrown. How do you actually deliver to the house without getting caught in wires or crashing into a tree? With these drones, yes, they use GPS to navigate, but they also have some camera sensors that can optically sense if wow. there's something going on below that maybe was unexpected. Yeah. If they can, they will try to nudge over and still successfully complete the mission. If they're sensing that this is in a safe delivery zone and it's not going to work, they will simply fly back and reassess the mission. How do you actually choose where to put the package? So does someone want them at the front door, at a park, in like at this table, or yep. how does that work? Well, a lot of customers simply want the package to get as close as they can to the home, so you'll yeah. often see delivery zones right at the driveway. Oh, which is great. Yeah. Maybe they want the backyard. Uh, that's an option too. All we need is that picnic blanket size space to successfully yeah. get the package to the home. How do you like stop a little kid from grabbing the wire and just pulling it down? As you know, the package will be delivered slowly to the ground, very nice and gentle with a hook that looks like this. Yeah. Now with the tether system and the winch system, um, if, if somebody starts tugging on this, yeah. the drone is designed to, you know, eventually release it, simply yeah. release it. We have a, a lightweight hook and a very simple tether. Yeah. So it makes it easy to just let it go and fly back. This hook hooks onto the package. Yep. It'll be gently lowered to the ground. And it's not a high tech system. As soon as the package lowers to the ground, a little bit of gravity will help us so that yep. the hook will gently release and go back into the drone. How much can it actually pick up? Like what's the weight it can yeah. pick up? So behind us, you'll see there are two different aircraft. Yep. We have our smaller aircraft here. That's gonna carry about a two and a half pound payload, just under. Yep. 
our larger aircraft that's about to be in service, that has a five pound payload. Wow. Yeah. And so you can imagine what you can start to deliver with uh, the two choices then. That's just amazing because it actually just like looks like foam. I yes. Guess, and it can yes. lift that much weight. Yes. A lightweight design is really where we focus. And so 11 pound, 17 pound drone, they are really focused on being light and, and able to get packages quickly. We can scale with them. That was by design. Since they are so light, can it fly through wind or how does that work? Yeah, they can fly in wind about up to 20 knots. Rain, no problem. So you guys are obviously always testing to just try and make it better. Are you guys always testing for like how to make it quieter and stronger, faster? Always trying to, you know, evolve to what our customer needs, what our partners are looking for. And so noise is obviously something we really yeah. wanted to focus on early when we entered new communities. And so we do, we specifically have designed these drones and their propellers to blend in a little bit better to that neighborhood noise that you might expect. How do people actually find you guys? Yeah, we make it really easy, wing.com. And if you're interested to see if you're eligible for delivery today, you can go to wing.com slash get delivery. If you're not eligible, don't worry, you'll be added to a list. You'll, you'll be notified once we enter your community. Thanks so much for the interview, Jess. Thank Speak you so much.